Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Bringing you another war, we're going up against Alpha Team of Marvel this time, uh, and this is 8, I believe, uh, War 8 for Season 4. Now, let me tell you, this particular war was so stressful to me, but not for the reason you might think. So I've already scouted out my path, and I see that my first few fights, they didn't place a defender on the uh, first node there, you'll see that. But my first two fights are four-star skill champions. Now, before I actually got in here, one of my alliance mates, he faced a Korg and got destroyed. He wasn't prepared, he didn't know how to fight Korg, and I realized neither did I. And if any of those were Korg, I may have chosen the wrong champions to fight him. So I dueled Korg over and over. I got destroyed much of the time until I finally learned how to fight him. And so I'm all ready, and it's a crossbow. Talk about anticlimactic. I mean, really. So I'm like, okay, they went with crossbones. Again, I should have expected that. These are the early nodes, and people don't usually place their best defenders on the early nodes. So, crossbones went down, of course, very easy to take out, especially with Corvus. Now, later on, I did see a four star tech, and I'm thinking Iron Man Infinity War, but even if it wasn't, I'll still be able to pick up a persistent charge and finish that tech mission. All right, now if it is an Iron Man Infinity War, I'll be able to get two missions done for the price of one. All right, so again, this one, I'm thinking, all right, that one wasn't Korg. Maybe this one's gonna be a Korg. So I'm ready and it's an OG Daredevil. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, well, uh, I went in here with Corvus here and I tried to get him to evade but I couldn't get him to evade and so I took all of that recoil damage I was not happy I couldn't remember if Corvus's uh, special one was a projectile or not that's the only reason I fired off that projectile early like I did because I didn't want to kill him I wanted him to evade so that I could then hit him with a heavy and get a mission done but it didn't work out that way all right so you can see there I got myself into position and then I I think I took a nap woke up moved one and then looked and when I looked at the profile I was pretty sure that this was going to be a Thor Ragnarok you see he has a six star skill Thor Ragnarok in his profile and so what I did was I went ahead and I boosted up, which is what I normally do. And I kind of made a mistake here. So I used a little baby boost because I have, you know, a few extras there. And I went and I used the uh, cosmic boost just to get some extra uh, special damage again. And then I was going to choose the power boost the little three minute power boost but instead I chose the special three defense I kinda made a mistake there and then I said okay you know what whatever uh, then I also changed my uh, masteries so I'm gonna show you what I changed to here and that was just for the rest of this fight alright so you can see I went full suicides which I wasn't before and I've maxed out recoil I actually unlocked recoil that's why my units took a little dip and I thought about taking points out of coagulate uh, just because I was going to be using Corvus for uh, the rest of the war here but then I said never mind it, it won't hurt and I do still have to fight in Alliance Quest but I'm all geared up ready to fight that Thor Ragnarok and I was a little nervous about fighting him and it was Winter Soldier once again for the third time and I think I know what they were doing these were decoys okay so when the rest of my alliance scouted out 
and they would look at his profile, see that he had a six-star uh, skill champion. He placed another six-star skill champion here, so that we may not know which one is Thor Ragnarok or if any of them were. Uh, now, the other thing, and I didn't do this, I should have looked around, looked at the names, and seen if they had placed another six-star um, skill champion, maybe on a mini, and then I would have known, but whatever. So this one, I know I'm going to get a mission, no matter what, and I'm thinking it's going to be an Iron Man Infinity War, and I wanted to test Corvus against him, and again, I was mistaken guessed wrong and it was this war machine now I made a mistake here you see that I'm doing the medium light medium in this particular case because I was all boosted up I shouldn't have done that because I would have been able to take him out before he got to his special one which of course I went ahead and took all that damage but with Corvus doesn't matter he doesn't take bleed damage but it was still damage that I didn't need to take all right, so next up is a mutant. I didn't care what mutant. All that meant was another persistent charge because I got another mission completed. So I was very happy with that. And it is a domino. And I remember when she first came out, I got so wrecked by her. But Corvus doesn't seem to have too much of a problem. Uh, and I've also learned to fight her a little bit better. And down she goes so next up is the mini and it is a Mordo now I was again nervous about fighting this Mordo I'm not worried about his special two being unblockable I don't really get hit with his specials and especially not his special two you know there, there, there have been times where you know a dropped input or something happened but I was concerned with him turtling and just spamming me and I was worried if they had mystic dispersion uh, but that special three defense boost meant I was just gonna go all in on him and if he fired off his special three so be it I would just take the damage and see just how fast I could take him out but as you see there he was playing nicely he threw his special just fine uh, and I'm just chopping him down and like I said, I'm not worried about that special two. Boom. And he went down. Didn't even get a chance to throw his special three. Corvus is a beast. All right. So the boss is an Iron Man Infinity War, as you can see. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get in on it. Hopefully I will so I can test out this Corvus. So as you can see, I did get a chance to take on the boss. Now, this Corvus has some missions completed and if that's not enough I went ahead and put in a nice little 20% boost I put in a 10% boost and this time I was very careful and used the power boost I didn't put in the uh, cosmic one don't think I really needed it uh, really I just forgot but I wanted to see what Corvus was capable of so sit back and enjoy the boss fight Okay. Made a mistake saying I cannot run this race. It's playtime. I'm gonna crush your face. This is not a face. Hey guys, I know you feel that face. Roll with that until you see my face. Rising from a thick layer of fog at midnight. There's a time and a place to kill it. I spill it. Leak documents from a flaming tongue. Rappers act so safely, we're not long ago, you were baking, cuz. And now they catch the aroma, wonder what the kid is baking up. Add a little secret ingredient, they're needing get something for waking up. My flow was caffeine and I'm the black king of spades. Among smaller cards on that scream, you hear is mad heat. I am the daddy of cracking the bones of the flashiest chic. No f***s given, as I grow up in a robust prison. Everything I think I need is already given. For some reason, I am hardly living. I don't know about you guys. But I'm thinking all that boosting was overkill. Corvus is a true beast and I look forward to using him in future Alliance Wars. But in any case, I am waiting for the results of this war to see how we did. And I'll be back shortly once I have the results.
And I'm back, and as you can see, we were able to pull out the victory. Kudos to Adam, Alpha Team of Marvel. But that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider smashing that like button, leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you would like to support the channel, there are links in my description to help you do just that. And you guys have a blessed day.